What's up guys, Tekka was here, and uh, I thought, just got this idea, um, since I cannot play live League of Legends for you guys, I thought I'd give you some tips and uh, tricks. I'm a support person, so I'm going to be showing you guys support champions, uh, how to play them, how to build them, and uh, just all that fun stuff. So today I'm showing you Morgana, a champion that I've not really played much. I unlocked her maybe three days ago, um, and she's a lot of fun. She's really strong. Um, so we're going to go over her abilities right now. Uh, her passive is kind of cool. Morgana has spell vamp healing herself whenever she deals damage to her spells. I believe at the end of the game it is 20% spell vamp. Uh, dark binding is her Q. It stuns for late game, I believe, 3 seconds when it's uh, fully uh, leveled up. And uh, that's very strong. I've gotten that to do 873 damage, I think, is the most I've ever done. Tormented Soil. Uh, this has she has a cool QW combo where you Q stun them and then put the tormented soil under them uh, And it just drains their health uh, black shield is just a nice shield and our uh, Soul shackles is a very nice drain kind of like fiddlesticks And now let's look at her tips here uh, Shrewd use of black shield can determine the outcome of team fights items that provides uh, survivability allow M Morgana to become extremely difficult to kill in con Junction with black shield and soul shackle tormented soil is an excellent farming tool if you're by yourself in a lane that is true playing against Morgana uh, Tormented soil applies a powerful magic resist but debuff try to avoid having multiple people on your team get hit by it Morgana often needs to land dark binding to set up her other attacks Use your minions as shields against dark binding. These are great tips. Um So yes, uh, Morgana I would say is overpowered um First, uh, before I move on to a build um, that I got from uh, Hearth Shark, I'll tell you about a story. Last night I was playing two v or three v three uh, with my brother, and um, I was playing Morgana, and I'm going along top lane here, and uh, all of a sudden I see a Kali near Spider. I'm like, is she gonna try and solo Spider? I go up there. They're all fighting Spider. All right, I'm all by myself as Morgana. I hit my Q, get a kill. I W under them. They're still trying to get Spider, and uh, they're down quite low now. Now I use uh, the uh, Soul Shackles, and I ultimate, which, where Soul Shackles is my ultimate, and I pick up the Triple Ace by myself with the help of Spider. Uh, fortunately, I didn't feel the need to go kill Spider. I probably could have done it on my own. Not trying to be, uh, like, I'm not trying to brag, but her Morgana's Q does mass amounts of damage. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys a build. So if I go into my profile here... Item sets. I believe I have it. It didn't save. I keep forgetting to save my Morgana item set. So I'll make a build for you guys. So I'll name it uh, Morgana. Hopefully I'm spelling this right. Morgana. Um, so to start off, uh, when you spawn, you're going to want to buy a tier of, no, not the Crystal Scar one. Tier of the Goddess starting item, uh, which builds into the, wait, hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Uh, or I'll just search it. Archangel Staff. Very important. That or here, I'll just go like that. Um, so that's the Archangel Staff. Next, you're gonna want ability power. Stack a ton of ability power. You're gonna want a void staff next. And uh, by this time late game, you're gonna want to get your boots. You don't want to get your boots first as Morgana. So it depends on their team. If their team's doing a lot of damage and you're having trouble. Um, and they're like using a lot of ability power get mercury treads if they're doing a lot of damage get the armor boots I don't remember what they're called. I think there might be ninja tabby or something, but uh, I recommend the sorcerer's shoes um, Hold on, let me spell source sorcerer's shoes uh, The uh, 15 magic penetration so that helps you get a little bit more damage in there after that You're gonna want to go for a wooglet's witch cap um, For just a ton of ability power. All right, and then next blackfire torch uh, for the cooldown reduction and the ability power. Now I don't know how much space you have after this one, two, three, four, five. So you have space for one more. And uh, usually you can't get this far in a build because this is very far in a build um, for a 3v3. This is a 3v3 build to remind you guys. Um, but if you do get this far, I would recommend something tanky, maybe the Rod of Ages, uh, the Rylisle's Crystal Scepter for the slow, maybe a Deathfire, no, they took Deathfire Grasp out of 3v3. Um, so there's really not much you can do in a 3v3 map. If you were in a 5v5 situation, uh, you could get a Wooga, or you could get a uh, Rabadon's Deathcap, a Deathfire Grasp, a Zonia's Hourglass, and all that. And you can have like 700 
uh, AP and you'd be doing 1,000 damage with your Q, and it'd be all good. But uh, you can't do that, unfortunately, on a 3v3 map. Um, but you can. I've gotten my uh, Q to do over 800 damage. So Morgana is a very good champion. Highly, highly, highly recommend her. Uh, I forget how much she is. I think I have to change it to champions not owned. There we go. Uh, and then scroll down. She's near the bottom, I believe. Uh, yeah, she is... Uh, 1350 IP and she's actually on sale right now for 292 RP I don't know if the sale will still be going on when I upload this video but uh, if you can uh, buy her with your 400 starting IP or RP if you still have it and you're a good support because she is nasty um, you guys just want to look through my own champions I just got blitzcrank as well if uh, you guys like this video uh, you want to see more let me down let me down let me know down in the comments I'll do one on blitzcrank maybe or comment with a champion that you want me to do um, unfortunately I don't have that many champions um, but if you guys want me to do a certain champion I will definitely do that uh, I'm good with brand also so I'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed leave a comment if you enjoyed or, or who you want me to do next even if I haven't played them um, I can still most likely give you some good tips on them just because I'm, I'm good at that. I'm good at like seeing what they're good at and stuff. I'm good at seeing the combos. Um, and let, let me guys know what you want to see. Uh, subscribe, like, and share as always. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.